Welcome back and great job everyone. You really helped me put the smack down on that clown lawyer the other day. Since I posted that video, that slimy jet-setted clown is at his comms completely jammed. Both his cell phone and his office phone have been ringing off the hook. And his email inbox are getting blown up as well. Meaning that we have effectively waged our first economic blockade on a high profile target. Congratulations everyone! This sort of irregular warfare is going to be a big part of our mission over the next couple of months. We're going to be using my star power combined with the vast power of your collective voices to give the McVampires a taste of their own medicine. Our next target is Datto, the tech company hosting the Amorphous Archive. Datto has decided that they want to cover for the corrupt CIA and arbitrarily took down the Amorphous Archive. By taking that down, Datto is not only violating our First Amendment rights, they are also threatening our national security by aiding and abetting foreign enemy combatants like Queen Satan. One of the primary evil monsters we're working to defeat. It's a direct act of war against the American people and it will not be tolerated. So starting tonight, we will be launching an economic blockade against Datto until they decide to give us our amorphous archive back. How we're going to do that is very simple. We're going to degrade and destroy their ability to support their customers by blowing up their tech support email. Every time we send an email to support at datto.com, a ticket is automatically created in their system. So by flooding that email with thousands of messages demanding our archive back, we can create tons of fake tickets and dramatically inhibit their ability to support their customers. If they do not give us our archive back by Monday, we will start flooding their phone lines and their billing email system as well, choking off more and more of their ability to operate their business every day until they either give us our files back or go out of business. Their choice. Now many of you are probably thinking to yourselves, why Datto? Don't we have bigger fish to fry? And the answer is no. Because this isn't just about Datto. This is about sending all the CEOs in Silicon Valley a huge message. A message that scares the shit out of them and makes them understand that if they continue to get in the way of us fixing our country, we will mercilessly suffocate each and every one of their companies. Doesn't matter how big and bad they think they are. Doesn't matter how much money or power they have. Those corporations will be suffocated if they get in our way. Now normally, online brigading like this would be shut down, but this is a special star power exception to that rule because if we don't aggressively move to protect our rights now, those Silicon Valley tech giants will most certainly rig the election against us. And we will lose our freedom forever. That might sound like an exaggeration, but I promise you with the artificial intelligence technology they have now, that is not a joke. This is crunch time and we need all hands on deck. So if you want to help, please email support at datto.com and help me demand our amorphous archive back. If you're unsure what to write, I'll put a pre-written template in the description section below for you to copy and paste. Understand that the efforts of every single individual person in this movement matters tremendously at this point in the game. So I'm hoping that you all answer this call to action like you did with that slimy lawyer and help me get our files back ASAP. Any help you can provide to that end would be greatly appreciated by both me and by General Flynn. Tonight I also need to take some time to call out some of these shallow Q Pharisees who are currently acting like the kangaroo news media. Ones like Joe M, Jordan Sather, Lisa May Crowley, and Prang Medic. Big accounts currently stirring up trouble against myself, my family, and my followers despite never actually having watched any of my videos. I know because I have tracking cookies. Yep, you heard me correctly. Those big name Q Pharisees are slandering me without ever having looked at the evidence even a single time. Meaning that their hatred is 100% based on feelings at this point. So much so that they are all still even conflating me with totally anonymous morons like that I the spy guy who never even provided a picture or a single tangible piece of evidence whatsoever. Isn't that outrageous? Guy doesn't even have a name. It's like, do they even have a brain? Because if they did, they would realize that the no outside comms thing was actually posted on the chance and that they are currently taking orders from a coon. So technically they aren't even following the no outside comms rule and they haven't been for some time now. Pretty hypocritical, right? Did you guys know that they also conspire behind the scenes to coordinate messaging like clicky little hens?
exactly what the mainstream media does. They even all blocked me at around the same time, so they can keep on baselessly slandering and stirring up trouble against me without me being able to respond. Pretty cowardly, right? Believe it or not, I've had more trouble with them inciting idiots to come harass me than I have with almost anyone else. Other than the CIA, of course. How crazy is that? The people claiming to rep Q the most are the ones refusing to look at any hard evidence, refusing to talk to anyone they disagree with, and sending their stupid followers after me while simultaneously using my operation as a can shake. Those vitriolic haters love to do things like demand I post on the board immediately and prove everything about myself now if I want them to stop harassing me. Like a military commander should be taking marching orders from a bunch of ignorant punks like them. Another thing those ignorant little morons like to come at me with is how much longer those influencers have been working on this than I have and how I just need to put in the work like they did. Which is pretty annoying, not gonna lie. Because I started this 12 years ago when I was 17 and I have been busting my ass ever since. Pretty much my entire youth was spent risking my life and fighting the most vicious people on earth. So when those Q Pharisees and their followers act like they've done more for this movement than I have, understand that they are engaging in a form of stolen valor, something that myself and every other real warrior despises. If you don't know what that is, stolen valor is when idiots who didn't spend a single second actually fighting a war claim that they contributed more to winning it than the people who actually fought on the front lines. It's one of the lowest and most pathetic grifts that anyone can pull. And not only are those Q Pharisees stealing my valor, because I could ignore that, they're also using their platforms to stir up violent threats against my family members. To such an extreme degree that FBI agents came over to check on us yesterday. Yep, you heard that correctly. Those ignorant Q Pharisees incited so many threats against us that some FBI agents had to come over and check on us to make sure we were okay. A great example of exactly how egotistical and selfish those stupid Q Pharisees really are. Despicably so, really. The good news about the FBI checking on us was it gave me the opportunity to go on the record and tell them the exact same story that I've been telling you guys. How we work for the Defense Intelligence Agency. How I'm running a live military intelligence operation called QAnon. How I have drugs, guns, and explosives in my house. And how I hacked Terry Bradshaw's medical records and posted them on the internet with impunity. All on the record to the FBI agents. I even showed them some of my videos. So now there's a hard paper trail for all the thick-headed Q Pharisees to check into. Meaning that those of you who still don't believe my story can feel free to submit a Freedom of Information Act request to the FBI for that house call and see exactly what I told those agents. Keep in mind that it's a federal crime to lie to the FBI, so the fact that I'm not under any sort of investigation whatsoever should be Q-proof enough for anyone who can't wait until Greenland. Looking at you, praying medic. Praying that you will get your head out of your ass and start responding rationally to empirical facts. But based on how you've acted thus far, I don't really have high hopes. Which is why I need to make something very clear. I need you Q Pharisees to understand that I will not be tolerating the incitement of violent threats against my family for any longer. It's bad enough that your ignorant followers are jamming my inboxes with their bitchy messages and make it impossible for me to respond to people who actually like me. But it's even worse that they're inciting people to come after my family. So I want to make it very clear to all you selfish little Q Pharisees right now that if this continues, I'm going to start hitting you back 10 times as hard very soon. Not something I want to have to do, but your incitement is totally out of hand. So if it continues, I will be forced to take drastic measures to protect both my family and my operation. Doesn't matter how long you've been following Q or how hard you've worked to get the word out. You continue inciting violence against my family members, there will be severe consequences online and in person. Please do not make the mistake of thinking that I can't find you just because you don't have your name and your Twitter handle. Especially if you live right across town from me. Cough, cough, praying medic. I mean, it's like, are you retarded, bro? For those of you who don't know, I have been extremely nice to praying medic. I actually DM'd him a link to the Amorphous Archive about two years ago, but he was too cool to look at it for more than 10 seconds. And about three months ago, I even offered to let him hold a weekly Q meetup in the training center at my office in Tempe, which he found interesting and briefly considered before declining my offer because he didn't want to share the stage with someone he didn't feel was on his level. That's how egotistical and untethered from reality this little praying medic clown is. 
I have given him so many opportunities that no one else got, and he rejected them all like a little dumbass. Which is why I won't feel bad about making a flamboyant example out of him if he doesn't rein in his rabid little fanboys immediately. So with all that being said, I'd like to end the night with another Q proof and tell you about that Ephesians verse that Q Plus has been using. My elementary school was a front run by the DIA called Bethany Christian School. It was attached to this church over here called Bethany Christian Church, which has since then both the school and the church have been sold and renamed. We used to stand in this courtyard right here, everybody in my school, every morning, and we would stand up and say the Pledge of Allegiance, and we would recite that Ephesians verse about the full armor of God every single day. Um, obviously, I'm not going to give you guys any of their names right now, but if you did ask any of my classmates, um, I guarantee you any of them could confirm that that was in fact what we did every single day. Our school is really small, so we pretty much knew everybody. My mom was even the vice principal at one point. Now it goes without saying that none of my classmates or their parents ever knew about this place actually being a DIA front. So seeing this video is probably going to shock a lot of them. Another interesting fact is that across from my elementary school on this highway that got built around the time I was little, it's got these weird pyramid symbol things on it. And these are only along this short stretch of highway that is next to the school. Make of that what you will. So I'm throwing down a challenge to all the ignorant Q Pharisees that are calling the LARP right now for them to try to explain where that Ephesians verse came from. They know so much, why did Q use that? They all blocked me like little pansies, obviously, but why don't you ask them to give us an explanation of that? And of course, don't forget to copy the text in the description below and send an email to Datto. Happy Friday, everyone, and I'll see you next time.